when it's time to retire after a long career, the last thing you want is to wait months for your benefits to begin. But the News 4i team found that's what's happening for thousands of federal workers and their families. The Office of Personnel Management, which oversees benefit programs for millions of federal workers, is facing a substantial backlog in processing retirement cases. Consumer investigative reporter Susan Hogan and the News 4i team took a look at what's been a, excuse me, a systemic problem with this agency and what is being done about it. I've known him all my life. Diana Kimberlin and her husband Bob would have celebrated 58 years of marriage this December. We met at college in Nashville. Really? Yeah. Love at first sight? For me, it wasn't for him. <laughs> Bob's career in the federal government eventually brought the couple to Maryland, where he worked as a librarian. Before he retired, he signed up for Diana to receive survivor benefits. I remember the day he came in and told me about it. He, he was excited, you know, that he'd found something to take care of me. After Bob passed away last October at the age of 81, Diana contacted the Office of Personnel Management to collect on those benefits. And that's when she says a new heartache began. It was like one hand didn't talk to the other. Diana describes long hold times to speak with a representative and even longer waits to get the paperwork she says she needed to access her benefits. The man said, now the first piece of paper you get is going to be an application and the piece of paper will come in five to six weeks. In the meantime, Diana's bills and her stress piled up. I worried about they turn off the lights if they shut off the water. The I team found she isn't the only one dealing with delays. My investigative work in the field uh, was counterfeiting and check forgery. Former Secret Service agent Jim Mannion had two careers in the federal government, retiring for good as a civilian in 2017. He didn't immediately file for benefits when he was eligible at 62, thinking it wouldn't be a problem to collect when he was ready. I'm assuming you have figured this would be a fairly easy process. I thought it would. Jim admits his situation was a little more complicated because of his two stints in the federal payroll, but never imagined just how difficult the process would be. I filled out the form. April 4th, Okay. I received the letter, and then I didn't hear anything until June 15th. End of July, I emailed and that person. And then the end of October. After nine months with no resolution, Jim hired a private consultant to intervene. I just wouldn't have thought it would take this long. A review of federal data shows just how big a problem the processing of retirement applications has become, with OPM facing a backlog of more than 17,000 retirement applications in July. That's down from a height of 36,350 applications in March of last year. But despite some improvements, the agency has seen the average processing time climb in recent months to 85 days, with more complicated cases taking on average 122 days. In a congressional hearing earlier this year, the head of OPM blamed the backlog on historic underfunding of the agency, staffing, and technology, noting OPM is still transitioning from a paper-based system to the digital era. We have not had the resources. It's unacceptable. Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen oversees funding for OPM. They have to put in place new systems. We've been after them to do that. OPM declined an interview with News 4, but said this year they unveiled a quick guide to help retirees prepare to apply for benefits, step-by-step -step videos, and an online chatbot to help answer some of their easier questions. In a statement, it said, our end goal is to improve processing times and ensure that retirees get the benefits they earned over their careers in service. I can't say it's all on OPM. Tammy Flanagan is a private benefits consultant and says that because OPM processes applications from several agencies, the breakdown isn't always their fault. But she says OPM should be more transparent with retirees going through the process. That would do a lot to help people feel more secure or more that somebody cares about their long, lengthy, dedicated federal career. That was a letter. With Tammy's help, Jim began receiving most of his retirement benefits about a year after applying, but tells News 4 
they're still working out some discrepancies. After falling behind on bills, Diana finally received her husband's death benefits more than four months after applying. What do you think Bob would say about this whole process? I thing? think he would have been so angry and so sad because he really and truly, the day he signed for that annuity, he thought he had done the best for me he could do. Now, experts like Tammy give this advice for federal workers. Take a retirement planning class. Many are offered by the federal government. Try to send your application to your agency at least three months before you plan to retire to give them time to get it to OPM. And make sure there are no discrepancies in your service or application. OPM says more than 20% come in with errors that can cause delays. And finally, contact your local member of Congress for help if you need it. That is a lot to yeah. go through and a lot to make sure you're on top of. Susan, I'm just curious, what is OPM's target for being fully digital? Well, Sean, OPM could not really give us a firm timeline for when this transition will be completed, but said in a statement, the effort will take sustained funding from Congress. But there's one more big piece to why this backlog actually matters. Diana said she couldn't pay all of her bills during that four and a half month wait, and that devastated her credit score, so there are real costs to these delays. In 2023, hard to believe it's not digitized yet no. to get right. people's process, uh, their, get their, their cases processed more. And, it's, and Leon, it's not just OPM, it's other government agencies as well. They're still using wow. paper for many cases. You gotta get with it. All yep. right. Thank you, Thank Susan. You, Susan.